So we're going to find the slope at x equals 0 of um, f of x equals that. We're finding the slope of this at x equals 0, and we're using this formula. So let's take a look at the big picture. What we're really doing, this is a, this is a quadratic. Notice that it goes through 0, 0. Um, it goes through, let's see, the, um, the vertex is negative b, which is 6, all over 2a, 3, which is 1. So the vertex is at 1, comma, negative 3. 1, negative 3, did I do that right? So there's my graph. It looks like that. And they're asking us to find the slope at x equals 0. So I'm going to show you how what I'm going to be looking for. It's this point right here. I'm trying to find the slope of the tangent line at that point, which means that the line is going to look something like this. Is that a positive or negative slope? It's a negative. So and that looks like it's pretty steep from my rough scale drawing. So I'm going to I'm going to approximate it somewhere around negative five or seven. I'm just kind of taking a wild guess. I'm just kidding. I know the answer. All right, so let's do this. We, we're plugging this in right here. We're plugging x plus h in everywhere we see an x. So let's just write this out. Let me clear some space here. We've got f, the limit as x goes, to, or sorry, as h goes to 0 of, now I'm plugging, I'll even do color coding here so you can see. This is where people... No matter how smart you are, they still make mistakes. And I'm plugging in x plus h there. So I'll use my blue x plus h, x plus h, minus, notice now I'm subtracting f of x, which is that whole thing, 3x squared minus 6x. Whoops, I forgot a squared right there, right? That's being squared. All over h. So do this very carefully. Let's do this first. That's going to be x squared plus 2xh plus h squared. And that's all being multiplied by 3, so don't forget that. Then we've got distribute that negative 6 in. That's negative 6x minus 6h. Distribute this negative in right here. It's negative 3x squared plus 6x. Now distribute this 3 in here. That's 3x squared plus 6xh plus 3h squared minus 6x minus 6h minus 3x squared plus 6x. It seems very confusing and nasty, but things are going to cancel out. That's just what happens. Those go away. 3x and negative 3x squared go away. And nothing else goes away, so I'm left with and remember all of this was over h I was just kind of simplifying the top so I'm left with the limit as h, h goes to 0 of 6xh plus 3h squared minus 6h all over h and what can I cancel out of everything now? h you can cancel an h out so make sure you cancel it out of everything so here's my answer. I'm going to write it over here now. It's the limit as h goes to 0 of 6x plus 3h minus 6. Well, when h goes to 0, what's this thing going to do? As h goes to 0, what's going to happen to the 3h right here? It's going to, it's going to go away because it's going towards 0, right? So I'm going to get rid of that. So my answer is 6x minus 6. But where do they want me to find the slope? At what point? For what value? For x equals 0. So where do I plug in 0 now? Right there. So I'm plugging in 0 for x. And I go, oh, look at that, negative 6. The slope was negative 6. The slope of the tangent line at the point at, at x equals 0 on the graph. Remember that picture that I had drawn earlier is negative 6, and that, that makes sense with my, with my graph and everything else. Done.